Ekseba fetu ngutu ya kumsi sofa kolona Utamdizo Ikia nifundi lesa nukuna masubscriber na mafollower Encha bulile Guys welcome back I'm always excited when I see you guys coming back to watch these amazing videos because it means that your life will change for the better. Today we have an amazing video for you guys where I'll be giving you guys a list with explanations, of course, of mistakes that you do not want to do in high school. Now, if you're in grade 12, it's not too late. It's not too late, but too late. Watch the video and see if you can't pick something up for yourself and share the video with other people. Subscribe and like it. again. If you know me, you know that I don't like wasting time. So, so point number one. First of all, Bafeto, you never want to make the mistake of concluding and saying it is too late to change. Ne? Because whenever you change, regardless of the time of the year, you will always improve and you will be better than you would be if you decided to go to it's too late to change. Saying just the words into the world as it is it's too late to change demoralizes you. It puts you in a bubble of helplessness, of which if you are there, you are practically helpless because there's no one who can pop that bubble for you except yourself. So if you still have a wince of faith, oh good, I can do better than I'm doing now, then it is definitely worth the try. So you don't want to conclude on yourself. Because if you look at my journey as well, I was in grade 11, but in June, hopeless essentially but i had that wins of hope but you know what i want to see myself succeed i want to make my parents proud and i have to change my journey and i have to do whatever it takes if you have that kind of internal drive Buffett, nothing is impossible ne? and also i think one thing that also influences this kind of mentality is that the people that we surround ourselves with if a group here is hi man those are good what's the point of trying no 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 hey also miss out on seeing a better version of yourself that could have gotten better opportunities. And just go to somewhere that is better than is now. I think the most painful thing, Bafeto, about saying it's too late to change is that there is someone who said while entering grade 11, oh, good, it's too late to change. Other people changed and they became better. Towards the end of grade 11, they still said it's too late to change. Other people changed and they became better. In grade 12, at the beginning or even at the mid of grade 12, some people said, nah, it's too late to change. Other people changed and they became better. At all these points in your life, keep saying it's too late. It will really, really and truly be too late at some point. Where you can't go back and fix or change your mind and you will live with regret. You do not want to be that person. Number two, Bafetu, you never want to have a hostile relationship with your teacher. That is the greatest downfall that you're going to ever have. If you decide on that, regardless of how bad your teacher is, how vulgar, how rude they are, you never want to have a bad relationship. Rather, be servant your teacher. Regardless of what they say or how they treat you, how bad of a teacher they are. Because once you have a bad relationship with that teacher, trust me, you're going to have a bad relationship with that subject. And sometimes you're going to fail. Not because you don't know the subject, because the teacher has this kind of friction with you. Always fighting to be on the good side of teachers is the best thing that can ever happen to you because those people will ensure that all your needs regarding academics are met. And whenever you need help, you'll find it easier going to them and asking for that help and it will be easier for them to offer you that help as well. I mean, guys, I had the best relationship with my teachers because at first they knew me as notorious, but I had to go and soften them up, you know, help them carry bags to staff room, you know, go sweep the class for them. I was doing a lot of things just to make a good impression on them. Sometimes my teacher would be like, hey, don't unfinish the cigarette. Like, give me the money, I'll run for you. I quickly run to the shops, get them a cigarette if they want a cigarette, just to be on their good side. That then allows me, after the class, if I have questions, they can then spare me that minute because I was able to spare them that minute of my time as well. So always fight to have a good relationship with all your teachers so that you can succeed in all your subjects. Because even when I was changing my journey, my first step was to have a meeting with all my teachers, né? individually, of course. Then all of them were keen, you know, to give me pointers on where to start. 
Which textbooks are the best? What can I use to help me change my journey? And din jen 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 and I can go back to my school even now and be very grateful and thankful for what they've contributed in my journey because I had a very good relationship with them. So by, fair, by all means, fight very hard to have a very fruitful and good relationship with the teacher. And subsequently, you'll have a fruitful and good relationship with the subject. Number three, another big mistake that you never want to make. It is to be a follower of friends. My dad used to always tell me about this, guys. Okuti, I am not raising followers. I am raising leaders. So that put a leadership mentality in my mind. So when friends are like, let's go somewhere, I'll stop and be like, why are we going there? So teeny, what are we going to benefit from that? And that allows me to have a conscious mind when it comes to friends. It allows me not to be dependent on friends. Because being a follower of friends, you adopt a certain mindset that believes Ugoti, you and your friends have the same destination. You and your friends have the same path. But we come from different backgrounds. We come from different families. Other friends have parachutes just in case you fall. Other friends have sponges to land on that will cushion their fall. When, what do you have? What do you have in your family? What are you trusting? Are you the only hope? Is your friend the only hope at their home? You are not the same. Do not act as if you are the same. Be a leader in your friend group. Introduce ideas, guys. Let's go study. Let's do past papers. Make them interesting to them. How will they benefit them? Guys, imagine if we get good marks. We're going to pop in life. Let's do this, Buffet. If they don't go according to that plan, that is going to be beneficial for them. You are in the wrong friend group. And you need to be intentional with the friends that you have because they influence every behavior. They influence, they can make you feel uncomfortable by just being you. They can make you feel uncomfortable for wanting something more than what they are offering. Change that friend group, be intentional. Another big mistake, Buffett, that you never ever want to make, it is to go through high school with no clear vision for the future, with no clear plan for the future. Buffett, if you're doing that, you're never going to get anywhere. If there's no clear vision, there's no clear goal, there's no clear plan. Trust me, you will always be lacking motivation. You will always be lacking vision. You won't have any positive habits. You won't just feel the need to do something positive because there's no reason. You have no reasoning. Why should I study? Because you have no clear vision. Why should I go to class? Why should I study now instead of playing games or doing whatever? There is no passion. There is no vision. There is no aggression. It is literally like driving a car in rain without wipers. The problem there is that you cannot see forward. There is nothing to motivate you to say, oh, I'm almost there. Oh, I'm you can't even see any landmarks that indicate to you, oh, good, you're almost there. Things that will tell you now you're five kilometers away. Now you're two kilometers away. Now you're one kilometer away. You're almost there. There's nothing. Because you, are, you can't see on the road, there are even signs that you won't be able to see. Signs on the road that tell you this road that you're on requires a speed of 120 max. When are you wondering why I don't I reach there, my destination? It's because when I'm traveling with 60. Can't you grade 12? That's a high speed zone, go grade 12. High speed zone. You need to be aware. Clear your vision. Wipe that windscreen so that you see your trajectory, where you want to be, so that you travel accordingly. Once I saw Uguti, my goal was to get seven distinctions for two consecutive so that I get the white blaze. I knew the requirement. Therefore, I knew the effort that needed to achieve that requirement. I saw, but I wanted to go to the provincial awards because my vision was clear. I knew the standard of people that go to Eastern Cape provincial awards. I knew the effort that would be required for me to put in in order for me to reach there. But how are you going to know? If you're trying to solve a puzzle without looking at the bigger piece, guys, you're going to be so lost. You're going to be so demotivated. You'll be asking me in the comment section, Tamtizo, how do I stop procrastination? It is because you have no clear vision. You have no clear vision. Fix that. You don't want to make that mistake. Another big mistake, Ebafeto, comes from a saying in Kosa. It means that a baby that does not cry has died in the womb. It means that if you remain silent, you will die and suffer in silence. When you are going through something, speak. When you are in need of something, ask. Lower yourself. Be strategic. But when I was changing my journey, my teacher would send me to certain top students that were known. They don't like helping people. But I have to be strategic. There's a friend of mine I once said to him, man, I need your help with maths. But I've seen that in life science when our classmates are not make sure. Because the teacher will show us. I therefore can help you with life sciences. 
if you help me with mathematics. Nyangjola Buffett, strategy, give and take. Don't be a leech. Strategy. Other people are be like, let's go study together. I'll buy you something, maybe some study snacks, something with the little money that I have. And they'll be like, ah, don't I am, I see you. And I would learn from their experience. Buffett, I'd even ask advice from other top learners in other years and offer them something. I thought about you, man. I thought how did you get to this point? Then they start giving me all the secrets of the trade. If you do not speak, you will die inside. If you don't go to your teachers because when you are scared, you will die with your fear. And the problem after that is regret. It will all come back to you when you see this video. Yeah, I should have spoken. I should have said something. Buffett, another mistake that you never want to make is not troubleshooting. And troubleshooting, you know? Troubleshooting is a mechanism in computers. When your computer has a problem, it troubleshoot. It's trying to locate the problem and solve the problem so that the system can continue running perfectly. Because if it does not locate nor solve the problem, the problem will persist. Now you'll try to run your computer, problem comes again. You guys don't practice that concept in your lives. What you do is that you fail. You don't troubleshoot to find where the problem is and make attempts to solve that problem. You guys just continue to go right again and hope for a different result. How? Get out of here. If you're doing the same thing that led to your failure, aren't you going to fail again? I mean, that is logic, but it is logic that is often neglected. There are people who are going to rewrite their metric, but they're going to still use the same study methods that they use in metric that led to their failure. Then expect a different result. No, Buffett, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You must be on a If you fail, be on a journey to find out what happened. Get your paper. See, oh, I lost marks here. How did I lose marks there? The teacher must guide you again. Oh, you lost marks here because you didn't do this well. You didn't do this. Then you take notes. Then whenever you practice those past papers, you're like, yo, oh, I don't want to not do that because I know, oh, Guti, that's why I lost my marks. Then you improve. You keep getting better. You keep getting better. The reason some of you are stagnant, you repeat the same thing every time and offer a different result. Be on a journey of constantly improving. I remember when my essays were quite poor in this course, I went to my course teacher, I'm like, teacher, what's wrong with this essay? He was like, she was like, they are subpar, now your essays. They're very subpar. I'm like, okay, so the problem with my essays is that they are subpar. Then how do I solve that? She gave me Inwad, Yamal Kaloniza, which is a book filled with idioms. Then she said, go speak to a child who gets 50 over 50. She told me her name. I went to go speak to that child. I was strategic about it. She helped me a lot. I also started getting number 49, 50, 49, 50, 48 at the worst. Because I implemented troubleshooting. Another big mistake that you guys are doing, Gabafed, in high school. You guys are seeking to have a quality of life. In high school. For those who don't know what a quality of life, it is that thing you go to. No, I want to have a happy life in high school and a balance between my happy life and my academics. Guys, that is the least of your priorities in high school. The key thing in high school is getting out of high school. Once you get out of high school, that is where now you develop something called a life of quality, a life filled with joy, happiness, and all this fruitfulness. In high school, if you're under your parents' roof, quality of life, you want to go party, you want to balance. What is that? What is the definition of that? I would suggest, Buffett, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Make academics your main thing. Find joy within your academics. The reason why when you want a quality of life is because you're not happy in academics. The reason why you're not happy is because you're not doing that well to begin with. Buffett, once you do very well in academics and you start receiving those awards and you start getting that praise and you start feeling like, you know, man, I can actually do this. Buffett, that becomes a beautiful quality of life. Then when you get to university, get buffet. Imagine you are applying. You're not even worried about marks. You don't even me guys. I was not even worried about requirements. With seven distinctions and five of them in the nineties, I didn't even care what the requirements were for that course. I just applied, and that is quality of life in my definition. That is quality of life. When you apply for a funder, you don't look at requirements. Requirements for who? For who? When I got good marks, I just apply. I just apply. I'll see you in the interviews, my child. So, Buffett, that to me is the quality of life. Highly quality of life, me, Funa High School. Stop that thing. Drop all these nonsensical things that you guys are doing on the side. Focus on your academics. Get those distinctions. Get out of high school. Get to university. Get a quality of life. Get a balance. Get a healthy balance between different aspects of your health. Not in high school, Buffett. Another big mistake that you guys are doing, Buffett, Danny Verza, man. Danny Verza, straight, is thinking that you can do it on your own. Especially for key subjects in maths, in physics, in languages. Get a tutor. 
If you can't afford one, join a tutoring program. If there's no tutor, join extra classes. Join something that will provide that extra education to push you to consume your time so that you keep working harder. Once you get to the tutoring program, seek to be the best there. Seek to always give your best. Sit in the front row, do your best, join the tutoring program. I'm not afraid, I always say this proudly. Yo, Buffett, Kutlanong Promets was the best tutoring program I ever joined in my life. Those people took me from zero to hero. And it gave me that boost that I needed. All I can say, Buffett, is that join a good tutoring program and you will see the difference. The last mistake, Buffett, that you never want to make in high school is not subscribing to this channel, is not clicking the notification button, is not sharing this video with other people so that they benefit. Because Kumbula! Guys, we climb the ladder and we leave it there for someone else to climb because there is enough space for all of us at the top. Big mistake that one. Share the video, does a good. Otherwise, thank you so much for enjoying this video. Buffet, we are yours. Pala pa, quick comment section. Oh, the damn, this is another one. So that we catch those who don't finish these videos. Fuck it out. Ne? It's the damn, this another one. And the damn, this will create another one. Kalomazu, dango.